Good morning, guys. This is View from the Pew. It is Friday, May the 7th, if I believe that's correct, yes, May the 7th, 2021. We're finishing up Mark's commands of Christ, and it brings us to Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. There's a quote that I've heard before that goes sort of like this. Preach the gospel at all times, if necessary or when necessary, use words. Preach the gospel at all times, if necessary or when necessary, use words. I don't like that statement. I think it's very important for Christians to non-verbally be a witness, but I think it's also important, at least as important, that they be a verbal witness. And when I talk about preaching the gospel, I'm not talking about being a preacher. I'm talking about opening your mouth and telling folks what Jesus has done for you and what he can do for them. And talking about the things the Bible tells us to talk about with others, to open our mouth and say things. There should not be such a thing as a silent Christian witness. We ought to be verbal. We ought to be bold. We ought to freely say what God is doing in our lives and share it with others. Good works are good. They'll back up your witness. But good works without your witness leave people wondering why you do the good works. So here's his command. Mark 16, 15. Jesus has appeared to the 11. They sat at the table and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, here it is, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So preach the gospel. Go into the world as you go and as you preach the gospel, as you share the good news of Christ, do good deeds, but preach the gospel. I'm preaching to myself as well here. There are times that I fail to open my mouth when I should, and I need for Jesus to be the first thing out of my mouth, not, not something that comes up later. I need to be a witness in the way I live. People will say, I was fanatical, Brother John. Well, what do you think you're called to? You think you're called to be a part-time Christian? You're called to be full-time, all the time, every time, Christian. So I'm concluding this Mark's commands of Christ with just that encouraging, exhorting, admonishing, strong word to open your mouth, Christian. Don't be ashamed to speak for Christ. We need that more than ever while we still can. Because the devil would love for you to do good works all day long. Just don't tell folks why. He's all for that. So go into the world, preach the gospel to every creature. Don't leave any stone unturned. The world needs Jesus more than ever before, and he is coming back. So that's all I got to say today. I wanna to encourage you to take that truth Share it with others. I pray God blesses your Friday. Tomorrow, we're going to start about a week-long emphasis on spiritual awakening and the awakening. And you'll know more about what that is about tomorrow. But I encourage you, let's pray for spiritual awakening. Let's wake up, Christians. And let's speak up for Jesus Christ. God bless you, and you have a great Friday.